great she is and how oh, I'm, I'm so amazing. Oh boy, I'm let's like, get started. Mm. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, cool. How old are you? Uh, 23. Okay, uh, I was told you were divorced. Yep. Whoa, um, that's pretty young to be a div divorcee. Yeah, I'm like, red flag number one. And so... Uh, I'm following the pipe. Uh, there goes right there. Mm-hmm. I guess I need to go up. Uh, uh. So, oh. I get with her. Like, this isn't me bragging. It took eight hours. Jesus! Eight? Eight hours. Eight. Yeah. I was... Fucking Christ. That's what I wish I was doing. Uh, <laughs> but it would have been quicker. Three days. Like, <laughs> it, it really did feel like I died and rose on the third day again. Like, and I know she was enjoying it because there's certain things you just can't fake, right? Right. Like, it's just impossible to fake certain things. And she was having a blast. That's yeah, sure. I, and I had laundry to do, so... Yeah. I have I have errands, so if you could, like, wrap this up... No, I meant, like, afterwards, I had laundry to do. So, oh. Um, that's how I know she wasn't faking that. Um, right, I gotcha. So, uh... Like, it was just causing me a lot of, like, headache. Like, I was like, God, this isn't even slightly pleasurable, like... <laughs> really? Like, I'm not enjoying this whatsoever. Yeah, at a certain point, it's just, like, a marathon. But, and I was just, like, we tried switching positions, we tried doing this and that, and I was just like, oh, there was an odor issue, uh, but she knew what she was coming over for. But this was not some kind of coy little, oh, we're just going for a date, yeah. This, mm -hmm. this was straight up a booty call, right? Sure. So you'd think she'd have showered. Oh, really? Yeah, but... She did. She she decided she to forego did, that. She really needs to get stronger soap. Who? Um. So we fool around. I finally just faked the orgasm. Yeah. I was like, no, nope, you don't need to check the condom. Yeah. Uh, sure. Oh well, yeah. In that in condom situation, you can fake oh, it. Oh, there was easier. no way I was tapping out without a condom. Um, yeah, I, I feel you. Uh, I ooh, feel me more. Uh, so <laughs> she and I just didn't like I kept her number to be nice because I didn't want to like upset my friend right come to find out years later oh it wasn't her friend it was her boyfriend's friend oh so I was like you fucking asked me to do this for you she's like well, yeah because I was sick of hearing her shit like yeah she was you know talking all this shit about how she was lonely and shit so I set you up for a one night stand well thankfully tinder exists now Tinder and oh, grinder so, so and all that. Here's so where that went. Here's where that goes, right? Okay. I set her up with my friend because he had been in uh, northern North Carolina for a while. Sure. And he came back to Lexington and needed somebody to hook up with. I was like, I, I would do that, sure. I'll get, or he was like, do you have any girls' numbers you can get? I'm like, sure, I have a number. Uh, yeah, I got a bone to but, throw you. Like, if I had numbers, what makes you think I would be, like, giving them up, right? Like, yeah. I am, like, I had to hoard my numbers. And I was like, oh, wait. Failed. I can give it, I can give him her number. Yeah. And so I was like, hey, would you like to meet a friend of mine? And she was like, oh, I guess. Because she was pining for me. Mm. And I was doing anything I could think of to get her off my back. So I was like, I'll hook them up. They'll hit, they'll hit it off. So she hooks up with him. He, I thought it would have been funny. Like I thought he'd have the same taste I would. Sure. He'd be like, dude, why did you do that to me? He fucking loved it. Really? Like the kind of love where he's like texting her all the time and like texting me, asking, you know, why doesn't she want to text me anymore? Surprised you're messaging me. I haven't heard from you in a month. And she's yeah. like, okay. And then just stop texting me. Like never texting me again. Right. Come on. Let me. Let me do this. Get, get, get on. Oh! Oh! Oh God! No, no, no! Don't. Machine There's gun right boats. in the back. There's two boats. Two boats. Two boats. I just saw two boats. But uh, 
I'm the voice of Siri, and no, Apple didn't pay or warn me. Here's what? an article to read. Yeah, you didn't know Really? About? Yeah. So. Yeah, the woman who voiced Siri wasn't paid for it. Suzanne Collins? Uh, I'm not oh, sure. Vibes. Is that who voiced Siri? Yeah, I mean, from my understanding. Oh, and how I love her. Well, the thing is, Siri... Suzanne Bennett. Right, okay. But, Susan sorry. Bennett. Sorry. I got that slightly off, but yeah, uh... We're mutuals on Twitter, and um, I didn't realize that. Cause like, do you know what fucked me up? I understood that Siri. So was... many cracked writers followed me on Twitter. Yeah. And I was like, why? What did I do? I didn't do anything. I swear it wasn't me. They're hoping you'll fall back. I already followed them. Oh okay. Or that there's a there's a, such a big culture of that, and like so many like shitty like I'm a marketer, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a SEO genius. Follow me on Twitter now I because I'm like on I the have... I'm on the front page of the voiceover section of Fiverr. So they're just like, oh my god, we gotta follow, we gotta follow this one. And it's like I don't follow any of them back because it's like I don't give a shit. I figured this, sh like I read listened to one dude's podcast, did exactly what he said, and guess what? It worked. Because he said it'd work, and guess what? It did. It's as simple as that. That's, like... And his advice was dirt simple. It was really just be oh, available, wait, wait, wait. reply to weapons? people, actually, like, have decent, like, fucking product that you're giving people. <laughs> so Kaboom! Around There's a chameleon. See, I can't do a weapons drop because that won't get me anything. Right? Uh, I need a different weapon for my. Uh, see, I've got the grenade launcher. Sure. I need the rocket launcher. Ah. And I can't do the uh, drop for that because they won't give me what I'm looking for in the drop. Like, I can't get any kind of really long-range gun in the drop. The special weapon. So I need to go... There we are. Oh, oh, there's a weapon I can use. There's a big, bad motherfucker right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Beauteous. Uh, I have more ammo there. I have more ammo than that. No, no. You... You, you're, you're not thinking big yet. Oh. Move, move. I don't want to kill you, bro. Get the fuck out of there, my friend. Oh, wait, I know how to get rid of you. Kneecap him. <laughs> there you go. Get away from my gun. Here we go. Get to my line now. Is it just straight, you like, rebar? Coming with me. Wow, you can just yeah. take it with you? How the fuck are you even holding that thing? I'm Rico. I can ah. hold anything. Like, I won't be able to use it in the mission, though. Like, Aww. Check this shit out. Holy shit, you are powderizing that fucking barrier. Well, I wasn't hitting the barrier, I was hitting the barrier. Ah, okay. Still. Burn, 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 burn. Do you ever see Tiny Tim when he got older? And yeah. Towards the end. Right? In fact, one of his last appearances was in uh, the beginning of Private Parts, the Howard Stern movie I was talking about. Is that why you brought up Private Parts? Oops. Uh, no, I just brought it up because I was thinking about it, and it seemed in your wheelhouse, but I'm surprised you didn't like it. I don't like Howard Stern, so it just... Yeah, I'm surprised about that as well. He seems like in your wheelhouse. You think? But, uh, as Maddie has discovered, what you think I'd like... I typically don't. Yeah, that's a fair, that's a fair point, because I remember first time coming up here, and I, we were listening to your music in the car, and it, like, Voltaire came on, I'm like, Andrew likes Voltaire? What? Dude. Like, I, that was, that surprised me, that seemed, like, seeing that, and like, seeing like, your YouTube subscriptions being all like, droffy, college humor, cracked stuff, and it's like, this is... What, this is not what I expected at all, but what all right. Expect? I don't know, but it just it felt like it was 
really surprising, but it it made me glad because those were things I'm actually familiar with. Yeah. So. Like people look at me, and I am aware that when you and I first met, I had a beard that was about a foot long. I was gonna say, yeah, your look has changed a lot since the first time we came okay, up here. There's a story behind that, but let me explain this first. I was completely shaven bald. Yep. And I'm a big fat white reverend. Yeah. I am aware that I look like... You I, had like a five inch beard. Yeah, I'm not a racist, but I do wear the uniform. Like, yeah. I get it. I do not look like a liberal... Uh, and hey, being aware of that is the first step. Like, I... And also, infinite fucking ammo. Oh, fuck. Really? Oh, oh fuck. It's really good. So, I'm aware that I look like a racist. But I'm not one. I've never been one. Yeah. Uh, growing up, my cousin was my best friend. He's black. Uh, yeah, sure. I have black family. I have. I grew up in black neighborhoods. I went to black schools. Like it would be really fucking like. I mean. Like I learned that being racist is basically, I believe, thoroughly 100%. You're racist. It's not because you're proud to be white. It's not because you're, uh, you know, you genuinely think you're better. It's because you don't think that. It's because you really think you're worse. Yeah. Like, you look at the Olympics uh, in 1930, whatever. It's fear and ignorance. In Hitler's Germany. Yeah. And he was bragging that the white man and his Aryan race was going to win the fucking Olympics and take home the gold and everything. And they were beaten by black men from America almost. Yeah, and then they try to be like, oh, they'd use the, the black man's, you know, s jungle strength, and it's like, that's not, well, fine. To me, it's always been... <sighs> I, I, it's a sticky subject to me because, in my mind, it's always been not necessarily... We really need to kind of redefine racism because, in its current definition, every human being, and really every creature is racist because well, no, when you like, see another when you see another human regardless of the color of their skin though that is generally a big indicator of what will cause this you have preconception of them the second you see a person you will immediately take superficial things of them which can generally be color of their skin or where they're from or their background and you will immediately have thoughts about that and you will think things about them what differentiates you from the ignorant fearful people who do shit like fucking the charlottesville shit is understanding that that is not true and not acting on that or letting it cloud your judgment of that person outside of their actions. Well, like, so a lot of people point to this dictionary definition of racism as a system by which the ethnic majority in an area or region will keep down an ethnic minority. Sure. So in America, the only way to possibly be racist is if you are white and you uh, hate any minorities. Sure. It is impossible by that definition for anyone else in America to be racist other than white people. And so yeah. we are no longer the majority race or ethnicity. Well, yeah, again, it's like the, the definition needs to be reworked because a lot of definitions are based around very old ideals and very old understandings of human psychology. Yeah, and, and that's just a bullshit definition. Like, Racism should be defined as dislike, or like basically what bigotry is. But bigotry is yeah. an envelope or umbrella. It's more of a category. Yeah. So uh, racism should be defined as disliking or having a prejudiced opinion of someone based on their race eth or as ethnicity. Because like, if you make it so that white people are just automatically the only racists. That villainizes white people, and yeah, we're terrible people. And the majority of uh, violent racist acts do come from white people, but that doesn't necessarily well, me mean that it's an exclusively white thing. Yeah. And let me but. Uh, change the definition of what you just, or change one phrase of what you just said. Uh, certainly. Offensive violence. So, okay. Is this defensive violence? It, oh, certainly. Yeah. You know, defensive but, violence is a whole other category. Right, certainly. So, there's violence. But at the same time, a lot of uh, hate crimes will, like, by the person who committed them, will be considered defensive because they a lot of it comes from fear and ignorance, and they felt threatened in that moment, even if there was nothing, like, overtly threatening being done to them.